Do you only have one bike? Are you jealous of all those lucky people out there who seem to have it all? Well, this is a problem and I'm here to make sure you can put that one perfect steed to good use, capitalizing on every opportunity to ride it and a few tips to optimize your one and only so it can handle all that you throw at it. Have you ever heard that equation that some mountain bikers like to live by? N plus one. If you're not familiar, it basically means that no matter how many bikes you have, you always want one more. But for the vast majority of us, this just isn't realistic. But that's okay, because in reality, all you actually need is one bike. And in the right hands, any bike is capable, within reason, of being your one and only. There are some limitations that even the most skilled and capable riders will struggle with. You're not going to have a good time pedaling your downhill bike along, well, anything really. Pedaling downhill bikes sucks. And on the other extreme, a road bike isn't going to do well when there's even a glimpse of dust on the horizon. That guy's good. But we're not here for skinny tires anyway. Let's stick to what we do best, mountain bikes. You might be screaming at your screen telling me that there's no way that a hardtail is going to be able to get down the double black diamond trails and survive. And I'm not here to tell you that you're necessarily wrong, but that does look good. What I am going to ask you though is this, do you really want to ride that trail? If you do, and you're capable of taking on a trail of that nature, then the bike isn't gonna hold you back. There's been a fair few videos of pro riders taking cyclocross bikes down some of the biggest that Whistler has to offer. And Blake took his digger out for some loops around Windhill too, but they're just good, and the bike doesn't matter to those guys. Most of us aren't that good, but it doesn't mean that we can't push ourselves or our bikes to the limits. Your basic hardtail can easily take on a red level trail, and it's down to your skills to limit what it can do. It's important to bear in mind that skill level will also be a factor in how well the bike will survive those trails. Generally speaking, riders with more skill will be able to negotiate a lesser bike down a gnarlier trail with fewer breakages. Understandably, you might want to look at some upgrades to make sure your bike is in with a fighting chance. Tires play such a big part of the bike and are all too often ignored. So once again, we're gonna push tires into your upgrade list. A solid pair of tubeless tires can make all the difference on the trails, giving you the confidence that no other component can. But what works on the trails just won't work on the roads. If you've ever ridden much on the road with a knobbly and slow rolling tire, you'll know how much of a difference a second set of more suitable road tires could make. So if you're looking to use your bike as a daily driver as well, then a couple of pairs of tires might be handy to have. One pair for the trail and one for using on the road to get around town. It could be a faff though, changing your tires all the time. How about going for a second pair of wheels if you can stretch to it? This would be ideal, so you can quickly swap between the two setups. Perfect. Wheels and brakes also play a significant role in how much your bike performs, as well as your confidence in how hard you can ride your bike. Suspension is one of those things that everyone thinks they need, but if you see a BMX rider, and of course trials riders, and see what they can do, you'll see that suspension is not absolute necessity. A solid pair of wheels though lets you ride easy in the knowledge that your bike won't fold underneath you when the trails get rough, or you misjudge a landing and reliable brakes give you the speed control literally at your fingertips and having control of your speed boosts confidence too because you know you can stop your bike in almost any circumstance. But here's a big but. If you're not going to maintain your bike, there's no point. Your wheels won't hold up if the spokes are loose. Your brakes aren't going to do any stopping if there's air in the lines. You only have this one bike, right? Well, let's make it the best it can be and show it some love. Imagine you had all those bikes that you've always dreamed of, then put all the love for those bikes into the one you do have. Regular maintenance is super important. This can be as simple as cleaning your bike after every ride. When you clean it, you're getting to know it better. You're going over the whole bike so you can see if there are any problems at all. You can take this time to check the bolts are tight, lube the chain, check the spoke tension. A little goes a long way with regular maintenance. You can avoid big bills if you put a little time in after each ride. 
If where you live is anywhere like the UK, then you're going to be dealing with a lot of rain. And that means you'll be generally getting wet. Now we can all deal with that out on the trail because we're not worried about going indoors afterwards and looking presentable. But if you're going in the office, for this reason, a good set of mud guards is a great idea if you're commuting. You might be rained on, but you won't have skunk tail or water splashing up your front from the wheel and blinding you. Ideally, what you want to do is make your bike as versatile as possible. So make sure you can ride it in as many places as you can. Some bikes can help with this. Bikes like the Canyon Strive have geometry that you can actually change. But sometimes having something as simple as a lockout on the front or rear shock can make the bike much easier to climb with or use on the road. So there's some ideas to make that one bike do more for you. Did I solve the problem? Is one bike now enough? I seriously doubt it. Let me know in the comment section down below if I nailed it or if you have any gem ideas for making one bike go a little bit further. And if one bike isn't enough, then, you know, what would your next bike be? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching GMBN. Click here to see another GMBN video. Hit the globe to subscribe and don't forget the like button. I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you next time.